Hello gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and welcome back. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collectives Soul Journey. I'd like to say a special welcome to all of my new subscribers and everybody who is with me on this life journey where we talk about awakening, awakening to a twin flame journey, the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, energies, frequencies, and chakras. This short video is presented in three parts. Part one, to get your ancient sofa show frequencies. Part two, the auric subtle energy bodies, the etheric body, chakras, prana, and a visual stimulation root chakra meditation. Part three, a guided visual root chakra unblocking meditation by the Brain Education TV. Before we get to the video, if you are looking for knowledge about the six stages of awakening or the twin flame journey, then look to the top right and find a playlist and you can choose the right video for you. And please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more updated content. I give you just the facts. Jump in the video. One is to get the Sofa Show Frequencies. The Frequencies Healing app. This is for Android users. If you are using an iOS, you will look for the Sofa Show Sonic Meditations for iOS. You will, you will find both links in the description box. Find the link. This is for Android users. The first link will open up to the Sofa Show Frequencies Healing app. Look for this icon. Install this app. Open the app up. See this screen. Look for the chakras power. You have a choice to become a premium member. I am a premium member. You, I am not an affiliate with this company. You can also use the free version. You will be asked to watch a video ad to gain access to the chakras power. Look for the first icon, which is red. This is your root chakra. Then you will see this screen. This is 396 hertz. You will have a choice of the sounds of nature, the ohm chat, the timer, the shutdown timer, the frequency volume, the pranayama breathing, and the binaural beats. The pranayama breathing is for meditation, for body energy, for anti-stress and anxiety. It shows you when to inhale, when to exhale. If you are not used to listening to higher frequencies, then slide this official frequency volume indicator down to the least amount of frequency. This will allow your brain to get used to hearing the different frequencies. You can listen to the binaural beats with headphones for relaxation, meditation, and sleep. Part two answers the question, what are chakras? What is the auric field? What is the, the subtle energy body system? And what is prana, the vital life force, and featuring the first subtle energy body, the etheric body? We are not just physical bodies. There is a pulsing electromagnetic energy field that connects us and the scientific community has recently caught up with ancient teachings regarding the aura or the auric field. They have found that the aura is the electromagnetic field of energy that extends all around the body, expanding about four to five feet away from the body in an average healthy body. This is an energy source field that interacts with our physical body by flowing through spirals of energy centers located in specific places in the body. The spiral energy centers are known as chakras. This is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels of light. There are seven main chakras plus a number of smaller ones that interact with our body's ductless and endocrine glands and lymphatic system by feeding in the good energy and disposing or getting rid of unwanted energy. This helps to regulate the energy as it flows in and around and through your body. So this is important to our health because we want to prevent illness or disease. So we need to learn how to nourish our chakras and understand what is this energy pulsing through the body. Have you heard of the word prana? 
What is it and what does it mean? We get most of our sustenance from the Mother Earth, from the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. This all creates prana, which is a vital life force life force that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. When your physical body is fully in harmony with life, a larger central line of energy called the Shushna Hara line extends down through the auric field right into the earth's core. This is called the umbilical cord to Mother Earth. Take a quiet moment to ground yourself, picturing your central energy line like a strong root that can pierce through all the layers of the earth. This will help you to feel more deeply connected and relaxed. When you are connecting with nature and with your body, it helps to keep your chakras open and your auric source field clear. So now what is this energy which is the life source of the universe? Prana. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of subtle body channels. Similar to the nervous system, the channels or nadis, meaning pathways of the subtle body, connect, mm -hmm. form, and mind, and act as a conduit for this prana energy. Most of us feel better in a natural environment, so going out for a walk in nature or going to the park or to enjoy the energy of the beautiful green plants you have in your home or your office. This will give you the beneficial charge of negative ions. Negative ions versus positive ions. Positive ions are the ions that are present in large concentrations in polluted city air. You can also get negative ions from a Himalayan salt lamp. If you think of the chakra as bioenergy that flows in and around our body, surrounding our body is the subtle energy. Sometimes this is referred to as layers of the auric field or the subtle energy bodies of the aura. The human being's colorful energy field is shaped like an egg or an oval, a light of different colors. Each color is associated with one of the seven chakras. Some people may say it is cocoon shaped. This surrounds the body and it is made of seven layers of subtle energy blending together. The colors vary from all the colors of the chakras plus darker clouds of colors. Generally, the energy becomes faster and finer as it moves away from the physical body, and some people call this the luminous auric field. Mm -hmm. By looking at a person's aura, you can see the level of spirituality. The more advanced a person is, the lighter the colors are. You can see these lighter colors in the auric source field subtle energy. What is it? First, let's learn about the subtle energy system of the body. The subtle energy system has three components, the meridians, the chakras, and the aura. Meridians or nadis are pathways in which energy travels within our tissues. That This runs on each side of the body. There are 12 major meridians, the stomach, the spleen, the small intestine, large intestine, heart, lung, bladder, kidney, percardian, mm -hmm. triple warmer, meridian gallbladder and each on each side it mirrors the other side and each meridian is correlated to an internal organ so where does this subtle energy come from this concept comes from a collective of people who accept that the human being has the ability to see or hear forces that are energy pulsing through the body that cannot be measured physically what is this vital life force this is the prana that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of, su of subtle body channels, similar to the central nervous system. The channels of the subtle body or natus connect form and mind and act as a conduit for prana energy. He the etheric subtle energy body and the root chakra. There are seven qualities or seven energy bodies corresponding to each chakra within the auric field. First, energy body is the etheric energy body is made up of vibrating energy it is the closest to the physical body the etheric operates as a life force or the life battery of the body because it is closest to the physical body 
it is the one that is typically the first auric energy body that people are able to see with their physical eyes. It extends about five centimeters from the physical body and connects inward to the base chakra, as well as the other organs of the body. It is the life force energy that surrounds all living things. The etheric body stays with the physical body until it dies. It is attached to the organs, glands, nervous system, and the en energy flows through the base or root chakra. The etheric body is associated with touch, feeling, sight, sound, smell, taste. If your most blocked chakra is the root chakra, you may not feel grounded or safe in life, and you may be easily affected by outside circumstances. This is a very powerful chakra as it's the foundation for your chakra energy centers. It deals with safety and survival, and it's often blocked by fear. The good news is that you can unblock this chakra, and here's a few tips. As you unblock this chakra, you will feel at home, comfortable, and safe wherever you are. This energy center is at the base of your spine. Imagine for a moment there's a red orb at the base of your spine. Close your eyes if that helps, and imagine this red orb growing brighter and brighter. Imagine roots coming out of it made of pure energy, digging into the earth, grounding you, creating a safe, solid foundation, like a redwood tree. Feel the strength of your base increase as the roots grow deeper and deeper. These roots can withstand even the most powerful winds. Keep your focus at the base of your spine and be as still as possible feeling rooted and strong. Repeat to yourself, I am grounded into the earth. I am always protected. I am always taken care of. I am grounded into the earth. I am always protected. I am always taken care of. Now see an underground stream of water flowing just below you. Take any fears and anxieties that come up and release them into the roots below you to get washed away in a stream. See them flow away. All your fears are flowing away. They are not you. Release them. You are safe, secure, and grounded, and you are free. Trust that all your needs are met and everything is happening as it should. You are safe and you are taken care of. Now take a deep breath and release all fear. Imagine now a house being built around you and it starts raining. So you calmly build faster, the walls, the roof, you can hear the rain pouring outside, but it's warm and dry in the home you just built. You are safe here. Feel that feeling of being in a cozy home. You can come back to this feeling at any time. As the root chakra energizes, you begin to feel at home wherever you are. Let this feeling of home sink in. The recognition that everything is perfect and everything is unfolding as it should will keep you grounded. It doesn't matter if the world is falling apart around you. You are stable. You are secure. You are always given everything you need when you need it. And everything is perfect. As your root chakra activates, you create a solid foundation. And this is just the beginning. The real fun comes when you unblock a chakra and you align it with the rest of your chakras to all work together. You may have other chakras that are partially blocked, so finding them is important. Once you unblock and activate, and then align your chakras to all work together, you can tap into unlimited energy, pure confidence, and live a passionate, joyful life. It's magical. Get on the right frequency for the root chakra 396 hertz. Open your app, find the chakra powers pack, choose the root chakra turn the frequency volume down to listen to the following meditation unlock your inner power from the root chakra guided meditation thank you for all of the likes and subscribes and shares i could not grow this channel without you here is a guided meditation by the brain education tv channel in education, we say that the first chakra has a deep crimson red color like this. So today in this video, I want to help you activate and move energy along your first chakra. First of all, your first chakra is located in a very specific point. It's called the perineum. This point is the space in between your anus and your sexual organ. So if you imagine your anus here, your sexual organ here, it's the point right in the middle. So if you sit down on the floor like this, you can kind of feel it. Feel your tailbone and feel your sexual organ and then move back and forth until you find the center point of those two spaces. And then once you found the center point, sit at that point on the floor and stack your spine above that point. So this is the area of the first chakra. People with healthy energy in their first chakra have a drive for life. Because it's the first chakra, it's the foundation that all the other chakras build upon. So having a strong foundation, like when you have a building, is very important for keeping the integrity of the building, keeping the integrity of your body. So somebody who has good energy in their first chakra has a drive for life. 
They have a lot of vital energy, a lot of power, a lot of passion, a lot of motivation to live and motivation to get started on things. On the other hand, somebody with low energy in their first chakra or stagnant energy, heavy energy in their first chakra, they have a lower drive for life. So lack of willpower, lack of motivation, lack of passion, apathy, and if that gets really bad, even suicidal thoughts. So in a nutshell, you can kind of see it as if it's healthy, you have a healthy drive for life. Someone who is unhealthy in their first chakra has a low will and drive for life. So check to see where in that spectrum you feel like you fall. And wherever you feel that you fall on that spectrum, that's okay. No judgment. In this exercise, we're going to learn how to activate some energy there. Okay? Alright, so first sit with your spine straight. And remember, this little exercise that we did in the beginning, moving forward and back from your genitals to your anus, and then finding that middle point. It's kind of around your tailbone area. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to find that point. Okay, when you found it, stack your spine on top of that point. Have you found it? When you stack your spine, you can kind of feel like you're going taller, a little bit more straight and aligned. All right, and just a little tip, if you practice meditation and you practice sitting down like this, this is always the first step you should take to correctly straighten your energy along your chakras. Okay, and then now bring your palms together in front of your chest. Close your eyes, take a few breaths into your abdomen or as deeply as you can and then exhale out. One more. Last one, deep breath in. Imagine you're breathing now all the way down to your tailbone. Okay, stop, open your eyes, keep your hands together in front of your chest. Now we're going to lift and drop. So use your thigh muscles and butt to lift and then drop. When you drop, I really want you to drop. Not lift and come down, not like this, okay? You should wiggle when you drop like this. Lift, drop, lift, drop, like that. The dropping movement will tap and open up blockages in your first chakra area, okay? Let's do 30 times. Are you ready? One, two. If you're not wiggling, you're not dropping enough. Three. Let gravity drop. Four, five, six, seven. Feel your tailbone. Can you feel the vibration? Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Feel your tailbone. Twenty. Now, as you do this, the vibration will help you open up any of the blockages there. One, two, three, four. You might feel some soreness. Five. That's blockages coming up. Six, seven, eight. Nine, 30. Great job, stop. Close your eyes, feel your tailbone. Do you feel some subtle tingling sensation? Maybe some subtle warmth? Feel that energy, that's energy opening. Blockages opening in your tailbone. Three breaths, deep into your tailbone. One more time, breathe in. Imagine you're breathing from your tailbone. Exhale. Again, breathe in. Exhale. Last one, breathe in. Exhale. Ha. Okay, great. Now relax your hands on your knees. And now, pivoting around your tailbone, I want you to make circles. So when you pivot around your tailbone, when you lean to the left, your right butt cheek goes up. When you lean to the right, your left butt cheek goes up. So imagine your body is like a top, and you're rotating around your tailbone. Let's do 10 times one way, 10 times the other way. One, really push against your tailbone, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other direction. 
One. Can you feel your tailbone? Two. Breathe. Whew. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, stop. Now bring the bottoms of your feet together. Butterfly. Open your groin a little bit. Opening your groin will also help you open your first chakra. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. From here, breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Ha. Stay here, breathe in. Exhale. Ha. One more time, breathe in. As you exhale, gently roll up, ha. Great job, release your legs, bring them back into half lotus posture. And one more time, feel that point between your anus and your sexual organ, and stay there, stack your spine up, relax your hands on your knees, close your eyes. As your eyes are closed, carefully feel your pelvic floor, especially around your tailbone. Can you feel some subtle tingling? electric sensation, maybe some warmth, or even some coldness. All of these signs are evidence that energy is moving and circulating in that area. Great job. Now open your eyes. For some of you, you may still not feel much down here. That's okay. If you don't feel the tingling or the warmth or the coldness that I'm describing, it just means that it needs more work to really open up and break up what's stagnant in there. And then you'll be able to feel some energy senses as soon as you open this up a little bit more. So please feel free to go do this routine again. Honestly, as many times as you can doing this will help you open that area. You did a great job. Thank you for being on this journey with me and thank you for your continued support of this message and of this channel. Please leave a comment and tell us where you are on your journey. And is there a specific video you would like to see me create with illustrations? I read all my comments. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video. Mm -hmm.